So guys, as you know, it's a little tradition where you go to a mall or you go to a little event and it's some fake ass nigga, you know what I'm saying, dressed up in a Santa Claus outfit. Now, if you didn't know, Santa's fake. I'm sorry. I know I got some young people who watch me. Santa's not real. And I'm here to tell you this because I'm, I, I, what I say, I said I'm going to always keep it a buck with y'all. The nigga's fake. Huh? DJ listening to while you playing the game. Yeah, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Thurl. My little brother bumping that G's. Make sure y'all bumping that G's. He's really, uh, really not. <laughs> He's playing Fortnite. I'm like, I'm like, that rock. <laughs> that like button and subscribe, nigga. <laughs> All right, but look, though. No. Um, if y'all don't know, you get what I'm saying? It's fake. It's fake. I'm here to tell y'all the truth. I'm here to tell y'all the truth. <sighs> the nigga's fake. His beard is removable. He's probably bald or going bald under the hat. He's not fat. He's got padding on. If he really is fat, he's probably a rapist. Now, the reason I'm telling this story right now is because I thought that this nigga Santa was trying to touch me. And we're going to get straight into the story because I was about to get Santa's ass whooped. Did he touch me? I'm going to fast forward. Rod has never got touched. No. <laughs> Now, did Santa get his ass whooped? Maybe. But we're going to hop straight into the story. You know? Now, right, lying to y'all, Santa is real. Let me know when you snap a picture with him. And he don't got a removable fucking beard. Shut up. Santa's fake. Now, um, we're going to hop straight into it. So, I'm going to show y'all the picture. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, it's this mini mall. Now, me and my mom went on a little vacation. You know how uh, certain families go on a vacation to, like, a wooden lodge or something, you know? Like, the little wood lodges. We went somewhere. I don't know where the fuck it is to this day. You mean? I don't know where that, that, that was. It was, like, a wooden lodge or something. It was, like, it was like a cabin. Um, And we went there. I don't know where it was at. I was small. Yeah, I said small. I was in, like, seventh grade. I, I remember I wasn't that small, but you know when you was when you at a certain age, I didn't know where the fuck my mom was driving. I just know where she was driving, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, mom, where we going? My mom used to slap the shit out of me. Shut the fuck up and, and, and wait till we get there. My mom was rude as fuck. Um, but look though, I, I I allowed her ignorance to go through, and I stopped asking at a certain point. So I don't know where the fuck we was, but just know we was at a cabin. You know, so we was at the cabin, and it was like a mini mall near us. So we went to the mini mall near us, and it was like a Santa, a Santa Claus, John. It was like stand in a line, take a picture with him. You tell this fake-ass nigga what you want for Christmas, and apparently he's supposed to tell your mom what you want, and your mom get it for you, make, therefore making you think that Santa Claus is real, right? Now, we was going to spend the cabin where you get the ski from. Nike, they sold out. You're not getting any. Stop spamming before we ban your bitch ass. But look, though, he supposed to tell your mom what you want, and, and you, you know what I'm saying? Basically, your mom get it, making you think Santa Claus is real. So we went to the little mall. I'm going to show you the picture. I got the picture. Mind you, the picture $25. Because I keep turning my head, and I know he see the Nike sign, and he keeps saying, where you get it from, bro? Fuck you thought I got it. Like, come on, bro. Shut the fuck up. But look, though. But Pete, 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 Pete. Pe the picture $25, bro. $25 for a fake Santa. You tricking your kids for 25 bones? A quarter of a hundred? A quarter of a hundred dollars you scamming your kid? That's tough. And my mom paid that shit, bro. She's a fucking troll. My mom's a troll, bro. And she knew, like, why you let me... And then, bro, I'm like, bro, this Santa Claus, he had niggas sitting on his lap. Bro, you supposed to sit on the leg. The leg, bro. He had niggas on the lap like he bombing, bro. Swear to God. On the on the fucking on the lap, nigga. Now I wasn't that young. I'm from Philly. I looked at that nigga and was like, bro. Pause. I'm not sitting on that nigga lap. My mom like, it's Santa Claus. Mind you, my mom was in the timely spirit. I don't even think she knew what the fuck was going on. I said, I'm going to sit on his his leg. Like, and, and that's that's gay right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm in seventh grade. I'm big enough to know that's gay. Even if it's a kid, I feel like it's more inappropriate if it's a kid. 
Think about it. A 50-year-old man sit on his lap is just gay. A kid sit on his lap is, is crazy. It's rape. Chill out. <laughs> but look, though. Um, he like, he like, I'm next up in line. You know? That's what I'm saying, bro. So I'm next up in line, bro. And hold on, hold on. Ban this nigga. Ban this nigga, bro. Why you keep spamming the same thing, bro? This what you doing with your time? You've been in here from 7.30 to 7.37, and for seven minutes, you've been commenting the same comment. And nobody's laughing. It's not a joke. You get what I'm saying? You just, you just, just shut the fuck up. But look, though. That's what I'm saying. Seventh grade. Seventh grade, bro. Seventh grade. He just kept saying F you. Like, if you saying fuck me, bro, I already heard you. Like, I already saw what you saying. It's just like, you mean? But I'm not gonna let nobody take my, 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 my spirits out of me, bro. I mean. Bells on Bob to ring. They make our spirits bright. What fun it is to. I'm on Christmas time, bro. Niggas not stealing my energy. However. Santa Claus tried to steal my virginity. This nigga Santa was like, all right, next up in line. Mind you, he black. Santa is not black. I know we argue that Jesus black. We argue that a lot of people black. But Santa is not fucking black. Let's keep it a buck. Santa not black. Y'all can argue Jesus black. Allah black. You get what I'm saying? Y'all can argue a lot of nigga was black. But Santa is not black. What black nigga pack a bag, fat, travel with reindeers, and sneak in cribs to give little kids presents? Santa's white. We're not going to take that one. We're going to let them have that one. Was Santa racist? No. But was he white? Yes. We got to get that to him. Ain't no such thing as a black Santa. Now, <clears throat> the nigga's black. Therefore, that being a red flag. Regardless, I'm gonna make that money. Keep Thanks for the sub, up. Brody. Alright, so it's my turn. I sit on the side. He tried to, mind you, he picking kids up like this. Boom, right on the lap. Never. He tried to pick me up. I said, no, nah, I'm okay. Like, bro. See, and that's why I'm glad my mom sent me to school. Y'all know where y'all learn common sense from school and y'all friends. If I never been, to, if I went to, if I was homeschool or if I was school while white people, I wouldn't be fully black. Therefore, let him pick me up, not knowing no morals. Philly taught me morals, bro. I will slap the shit off this nigga. I said, I'm okay. That's why you need social. I got on his little leg. My mom like, smile. I'm like, that used to be my thing. Don't cheese. Just, just put the lips up. That's my smile. I, I don't know how to smile. You get what I'm saying? Or, no, no, no. The new kid's safe, though. The new kid's safe. Because y'all got social media. Y'all didn't argue with niggas in comments. Y'all know common sense. Y'all just got to break out of the... The social barrier of saying it out loud. I say everything out loud. Pause. Just that in the third. You get what I'm saying? So he's like, hey, what you want for Christmas? Now, what I didn't like about it is that you got to whisper it in his ear. Which is very, which is very strange. So I'm, I'm like, um, bless you, Tay. I'm like, I'm like, uh, he like, what you want? I went up to his ear. Mind you, I trolled him. I thought this was funny in my head. I don't know why. But I went into his ear. And I was like, nothing from you. Mind you, the white lady behind the white lady behind my mom gonna grab her kid and turn her kid face like and look at me in disgust. This a grown ass man. We all know what's going on here. Don't act like I'm being outrageous. I don't want nothing from him. You get what I'm saying? So he <laughs> we got a little jokester. Mind you, he black. So so he you know what I'm saying? He very weird. We we both on the same playing field, bro. Don't play with me because I'm not your friend at all, bro. And I really don't want to do it to him. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to do it to him. It's like, bro, stop playing with me. You mean? Oh, uh, did they just end my broadcast, bro? Don't end my broadcast. Damn, they just banned me. Men lovers. Oh, I kept saying crazy words, I think. What'd I say? Hateful behavior. Because Santa Claus was trying to be a rapist. Bro, they crazy, bro. <laughs> Now just being me, cause Santa a rapist. Yo, come come over to Twitch if you want to hear the rest of the story time. My Twitch is the same thing as my username, or I'm gonna put it on the screen. 
Yo, come come over to Twitch if you want to hear the rest of the story time. My Twitch is the same thing as my username. Or I'm going to put it on the screen. They mad as shit, mad ass nigga. Yo, she is bad as shit. I'm going to get her, bro. She looked too good, bro. You got to love a girl that look good. Mind you, they mad as shit fantasy. Uh, uh, Santa Fig. That's, that's how you say his name? Santa, a corny ass name. But look, though. I said, I don't want nothing from you, bro. That's that's what I let him know. I'm like, I don't want nothing from you. Now, meanwhile, while that's going on, bro, meanwhile, while that's going on, my mom get the picture. She paid her 25 They bleep it out. We leave. Right? Now, I told y'all, it's a couple days before Christmas. So, my mom, we spending Christmas in this cabin. You get what I'm saying? We got a Christmas tree in this fucking cabin. We spending Christmas in this cabin. And my mom didn't get any presents. I already know my mom gets the presents. You get what I'm saying? I know she get the presents because one year I found the presents. And I, I'm walking out of her room with fat ass toys and action figures like, Mom, you ain't telling me you got a whole stash. She whooped my ass. Now, now who fault is that? That's her fault. She told me Santa was real. So if I find a stash of toys in your room, I'm thinking it's, it's for me. I know you don't play with toys. And this is what I asked for. So her whooping my ass is very unnecessary. And then I tried to go back. And look for the toy anyway. And you know what she did? She hid it. So me and my mom got this thing where she got to really hide the toys real good from me personally. You get what I'm saying? And and and, and, and that's, that's just where we at with it. You know? Yeah, so my mom done for real, for real. Because she whooped my ass for nothing. I'm gonna put on personal mode. How the fuck is people allowed to talk to me right now? But she whooped my ass because I found the toys. Who the fuck hides the toys in the living room closet where I spend most of my time? Found the toys, I opened them, I was playing with them. She whooped my ass. But point is, um, I already know she gets the presents. And she didn't get no presents at this time. So, yo, Cam, thanks for the sub, gangy. But, um, bro, I get my ass beat a lot, bro. I be doing nut shit. But look, though. Point is, my mom, my mom was going back to the mall periodically because she keep, she had to keep getting, um, she had to keep getting, uh, you know, the presents and shit. So with her having to keep getting the presents, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go to the mall with her. So after I went to the mall, the Santa pulled me to the side, right? Yeah, I got the pick with me and Santa. I'm gonna send it to my phone so I can show y'all. But she pulled, uh, Santa pulled me to the side, right? <sighs> Yeah, after he pulled me to the side, he was on the type of time like, hey, I know you know saying a fake. And mind you, this is confirming it for me. He like, if you want to come down here and earn some money while you're down here, because I could tell you from Philly, you can come help me out. So I'm like, how much y'all get paid? So he like, you get paid $15 an hour. Now, my mom told me minimum wage was uh $7 down here. So I'm like, 15 I'm like, damn, that's more than double. I said, bet. Let me ask my mom. I went to ask my mom. My mom keeps saying no. I'm begging her, bro. I was I was a little, I was a little, not a crybaby, but, bro, I was on a type of time like, bro, why you on nut shit, bro? So I would, I would walk away, uh, walk off, be on some nut shit. She like, go ahead. You could, you could work with them, blah, 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 but I'm not from down here. I don't trust these people, blah, blah, right? So I'm like, all right, but, but I'm not hearing nothing she's saying. All I'm hearing is you can work. So I went down there the next day, and you know what I'm saying? They, they hired me in a, a reindeer suit. And I would be there for like five hours and I would earn $15 an hour. You get what I'm saying? And they pay me that day. Nigga, that day. Every day of that day, they pay me. So I'm like, bet. So I, I would tell people, next. I would say a little shit like, oh man, wait to see him to get to your house. Reindeer ride. Bro, I was a fucking hustler. Hustler ride in the fucking building, nigga. Reindeer ride was, bro, that's tough. That's tough, bro. And you would get paid on that day, bro. You would get paid on that day. Reindeer ride in the fucking building, nigga. You already know what I was on. Mind you, I'm gonna show y'all the picture. Hold up. Oh wait, no, no, I gotta send it to my email. What the what the fuck? Um, <laughs> renegade ride. Chill out. But look though, I'm helping them out, right? I'm helping them out. Now it was a back room. It was a back room. In the back room, it was like it was like candy canes. They had a little a little bucket of candy canes and every time you done they give you a mini candy cane 
or if you wanted another one, you can ask for two or something like that. So my job was to fill the candy canes. Now, the light in the back room does not work. So I'm using my phone flash in the back room to get the candy canes. And the door, when it shuts, it automatically locks. Somebody from the outside gotta gotta help you. Now, that is sketchy as fuck. If I get locked in a room, I get locked. So with me, as soon as I saw the circumstances, like, hmm, the light don't work. And the door can automatically shut. Never. Exactly, bro. Exactly. And they not getting me, bro. So I'm like, that seems sus. So what I did was the door go all the way back, like a 360. Like, it, it go, I mean, a whole 180. It go all the way back, and you could put the wedge in it, right? Now, I don't trust the wedge. Niggas walking past this door left and right, and the door sharp. The door shut fast as shit. It's heavy as shit. So I'm like, oh, no. But the bag of candy canes was all the way in the back. And it was a deep closet. So I used to shh, grab it, run out, slide. Right? One day, I'm just feeling like, bro, this shit looking a little sussy, bro. Some little boy was walking by. And I'm like, yo, yo, bro, bro. I can't see in there. You got a phone flash? He like, yeah, I got a flash. He like, you want to use it real quick? I'm like, bro, I'm going to just hold the door open, bro. You could go back there and grab it. I was saying I was sending other niggas on my dummy mission. You get what I'm saying? That's that was that was my thing. My thing was you thought I was gonna take a step back there. <laughs> if you rape at anybody, it's gonna be somebody else, not me. You get what I'm saying? That's not what I meant. I'm not really into kidnap and rape. So personally, I'm just not gonna fall into any predicament where I would be the one do, getting that done to them. So I was sending other niggas on dummy mission. Y'all on day three. They swapped out black Santa with white Santa. The black nigga was gone, and it was some white nigga. So he like, oh. Oh, the boy name was John, black Santa. He was like, oh, John. John was letting you work? Oh, well, I'll let you work too. Everything's fine. This the nigga we got to watch out for. Now, the nigga, the white nigga was weird. Anytime somebody came and whispered, he used to make like random breathing noises that made me feel uncomfortable. He used to be like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, like, breathing real hard. So, somebody would whisper in his ear what he want, and he'd be like, Okay. Oh, uh, bad, bad. Like, real uncomfortable. It made me feel real uncomfortable for other niggas. And I just used to be like, Bro, ever. Like, what you doing, bro? Nah. That's sus, bro. That's sus. Don't tell me that's not sus, bro. That's sus as fuck. They talking about bro got asthma. <laughs> bro, I don't know what the fuck bro was on, but it made me feel uncomfortable. Every time he go told me to get the candy canes, he used to say, come here, come here. He never could say nothing out loud. He said, come here. He grabbed my shoulder, right? And that's a red flag, bro. Why can't you talk to me without grabbing my shoulder? He said, come here real quick. Grab my shoulder. He said, hey, why won't you just, uh. Bro, and, and it was in my ear, so y'all got to feel what I was feeling. Hey, well, uh, hand on the shoulder. Hey, why won't you uh, just uh, go grab some uh, more candy cane for the for the children? Never, never. Nigga was weird as shit. Nigga was weird as shit, bro. Nigga was weird as shit. Never. <laughs> Never, bro. You thought I was skeptical about grabbing it for the black ball? Nigga, I was skeptical about grabbing it for the white ball. You think I trust the white man, bro? I'm going to keep it a buck. And I'm going to keep it a buck. And that's, that, that don't got nothing to do with anybody in here. But if you white, I do not trust you. I'm going to keep it a buck. I feel like it's in your blood to not like me. I don't trust you, nigga. You know why I think black people so violent? We've been getting our ass whooped so long. We ready, we ready to whoop any nigga ass. You white niggas, I don't trust you. Especially the old ones. You know why? Because your mind already set up. You're not young where I could convince you. You know in movies where they talk niggas out of stuff? Bro, the whole movie could be the villain try to shoot some guy. And then the last clip, they talk the nigga out of it. Y'all couldn't have been talked the nigga out of it? That's fake. You cannot talk a grown ass man out of nothing. Now, a child, a child got a pure mind. You could say, bro, they trying to use you. Talk them out. Ah, da, da, da. 
a grown ass man? That's like imagine trying to t talk a nigga out of raping you. I don't trust a nigga. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't care, bro. From age twenty and and up, I don't trust you if you white, unless I knew you before then. And then uh, then I still don't trust you, cause I got my black brother sneaking me. I don't trust you at all. But, um, meanwhile, bro, he asked me to go get some candy canes. When I went to go get them, I did the same plan, bro. He don't know what I'm on. I'm sending niggas in there on dummy missions. Right? I'm sending niggas on, uh, on dummy missions, bro. You mean? Mind you, he wear glasses. When the fuck did Santa couldn't see? All the movies y'all see, Santa couldn't see? Nigga wear glasses. Oh, no, white teenagers, white teenagers from age, let me see, white teenagers, 17 and under, y'all know why I say 18 and up, 18, you become an adult, I gotta automatically consider you adult, 18, 19, 20, you're, you're untrustworthy, you think you know everything, 17 and under, the white people just disrespectful, and I'll whoop your ass respectfully, you get what I'm saying, but the older I get, the older the age limit get, I'm 18, it always gotta be a year under, you get what I'm saying, 16-year-old white kid disrespectful. Shut up, you nigga. I can say what I want. Uh, I, you wasn't a slave. Whoop his ass. And he won't be saying the same thing no more. All they need is an ass whooping. Whooping your kid ass is not necessary. But an ass whooping here and there is very necessary. Let's get back to the story. I, I get the candy cane for him. I'm working for him, blah, blah, blah. Christmas Eve is the day this nigga try to pull this nut ass stunt. Right? He try to pull the nut ass stunt. Mind you, I'm working. My mom used to drop me off, pick me up. Drop me off, pick me up. Drop me off, pick me up. Every time she dropped me off or picked me up, um, I switched back into my clothes. But one time she like, hey, it's not the same guy. He like, hey, take a picture with white Santa. So she trolling me. She know I don't want to take a picture with him. So I'm actually genuinely smiling because it's my mom here. I feel safe. You know what I'm saying? Nobody going to do shit to me while my mom here because I'm here to protect her and she's here to protect me. So she like, take a picture with white Santa, you get what I'm saying? She like, um, smile. I'm actually genuinely smiling because my mom trolling me, bro. She know I don't want to take no picture with this nigga. She like, I'm going to send this to all your cousins. She trolling, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm smiling. I'm like this. I'm, do I'm doing an actual smile. My mom sent me back. The next day she dropped me off, it's, it's Christmas Eve. This is where shit getting crazy. Right? So she like, uh, she like, all right, I'm gonna pick you up. Uh, this your last day working, so you know, have fun, blah blah blah, right? So I'm trying to go get some fucking candy canes. This nigga Santa, it's not in his chair. He's by the door. He hey, hey, grab some, grab some candy canes. I said I'm gonna hold the door. You hold it. I don't trust you, y'all. You gotta be up straight and forward with niggas when you don't trust them, cause when you beat around the bush, it's just they they hold you at a point where it's like. They hold you at a point where it's like, well, what's the problem? If you say, hey, I don't re I'm really scared of the dark. It's okay. I'm here for you. They try to make up excuses. And that was like, all right, now I got to get it because I try to make up excuses. No, you don't. Just keep just keep it a buck. Keep it a buck with them. I kept it a buck with them. I said, I don't trust you, bro. I'm going to hold the door. Why are you not in your seat, bro? Now, now y'all might think, why was he out his seat? Saying I got these times where he could take breaks. He put the, he put the, uh, he closed off the entrance and they say Santa will be back. He's delivering presents or some fake ass lying shit to the kids. Pathological liars. Parents tell you stop lying, but been lying to you all your fucking life. But, um, he on break or whatever. And he like, oh, go grab the candy canes. I said, I don't trust you. You can grab them. So he went to go grab them. As he grabbed them, he's like, oh, I forgot we got these Jolly Rancher candy canes. He, hey, which one do you think we should use? So I'm like. I'm like, just use the Jolly Rancher ones. He like, oh, Lifesaver candy canes? He, bro, come in here and pick one. I said, I'm not coming in here. I don't trust you. Right? Now, Pete, how, mu how much money you make in total? Uh, we could do the math together. I work there for five days, $15 an hour, and I work five hours a day. Uh, $375 on seven days. I mean, five days, so I earn $75 a day, basically. Mind you, now my thing is, bro, bro, keep trying to get me to come back. Mind you, the light don't work, and he don't got a flash on, bro. Wait, you got night vision? Never. 
I don't know if he got, he like, come on, come pick one, come pick one, bro. No, all I keep hearing is pick one. I took the wedge out the door, and I was ready to let the door slam on this nigga, and I was ready to go home. Now, the girl, it's some girl who stay in the booth with a ring deer costume on, and she the one who pay me. When she when when I leave, she say, how many hours you work? She give me my money. I was ready to close this nigga in the closet and go get my money. As I'm going to close the closet, the nigga put his foot in the door. I'm like, oh, shit, the wedge slipped. He said the wedge ain't slip. Mind you, he got an angry face, bro. <laughs> he got an angry face. <laughs> like, bro, the wedge ain't slip. Like, he ready to just pull me in here. Like, he tired of trying to lure me in. Now he ready to use force. That's what his face gave me, bro. <laughs> so when he said that, bro, I said, yo, bro, I'm about to go get my money. Now, I used to do this skip side to side, right? The side to side skip. Like, when I'm hurrying up. When you crossing the street and you trying to hurry up. I'm like, hold on, let me see if the bitch at the front. While I'm trying to do that, bro, he gave me this glare like he about to fuck me up. Now, I thought he was a nice guy, so when he really turned up on me, bro. <laughs> when he really turned up on me, bro, I'm like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> he gonna do me, bro. I got one more hour, and this nigga brick was longer than usual, bro. He's sitting in his chair, and I'm just thinking, while we out here, he can't do nothing to me. He said, hey, I never got the candy canes. Go get them. Mind you, he ain't look at me. This is the first time that he didn't touch my shoulder to tell me to get the candy canes, bro. He just looked straight forward like this. Hands on his armrest. Go get the candy canes. I said, now, mind you, I'm trolling him. I'm like, which one? He said, your choice. Bro, he tried to do me. I'm like, oh. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm like, he don't know that I do that little thing when I get a random person who walking through the mall to get him. So I'm going to just get a, a random person. As I'm walking towards the candy cane booth, he following me. I'm like, oh, you about to get him? He said, no, you are. <laughs> now, I'm like, oh, bro, never. I'm like, bro, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. He said, it's not your break. Go get the candy canes. Walk him to real work. You can't do what you want here. Go get the candy canes. Bro, he tried really. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he really tried to do me. <laughs> Bro, bro, he really tried to do me. Bro, so I texted my mom and I say, Mom, I think Santa try to rape me. Get to the mall now. That's as I'm walking. Bro, I don't know who he talking to, bro. Bro, this nigga fed up with me, bro. I think me trying to close him off, bro. <laughs> Bro, I think me trying to really close him off was pissing him off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. You just fucked my laughter pattern up. Gotta time you out for that one, brody. Ten minutes, there you go. He talking about it's muted. It's not muted, pussy. You not funny, and we not laughing with you. But look, though. Bro, I text my mom, that, boom. She say, what? Question mark. I don't have time to text her back, because now we at the door. So I'm like, bro, oh my gosh. Bro, he like, get him. I said, bro, I don't trust you. He said, bro, this is a working environment, bro. You think I would do anything to you? Nigga saying, bro, more than often. I'm like, fuck, he really black for real? He get the candy canes, bro. He's spamming, bro. You know how white the white people that spam, bro? I'm like, oh. I'm like, bro, no, he's trying to do me. So, peep. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the whole time I'm trying I'm trying to say, bro, I don't trust you. He I ain't going to do nothing to you. What you think I'm going to do? Get the candy canes. So now I just settled, bro. I'm like, bro, can you at least walk away? I told you I don't feel comfortable. As a man, do you at least feel comfortable when I say I don't feel comfortable? He said, you know what? Okay. He take a step back. Now, my thing was, bro, I'm about to run, grab these candy canes, and slide the fuck out. He was a far enough distance for me to do it, bro. I said, can you step back some more? He said, don't piss me off. Took a step back. As soon as he was taking a step back, that's when I ran. Because look, bro, this is how you fucking nigga movement up, bro. You know where Jukin come from? Jukin is when your brain, his brain, is telling him to do one thing, but another thing has happened, and he can't switch his brain to do the same thing over and over. Unless you're a professional rapist who trap people in a closet, which I think you are, so I'm trying to fuck you up, and I'm 10 steps ahead of you, you're not about to catch me. Now look, though, look. <laughs> If you running straight and a guy is running straight for one minute and he automatically take a left, your brain is not going to know what to do if he take a left then a right, therefore creating a juke. 
you thought y'all was about to go straight forever, which it's not. Now, if y'all zigzagging the whole time, and you keep doing this zigzagging with him, and then he just come off a zigzag and burst straight, just straight running, he just fucked your momentum up. Your brain is used to going left or right. Now, if I'm telling you to take a step back as you taking them, I start running. You don't know if you're supposed to take this next step back or come running towards me. Therefore, giving me a millisecond of time before you, which is what I need, which is a head start. If you keep punching a nigga, right, and he there and then his body disappear, you're going to punch again and realize this nigga's not here. But that head start is you punching again and him not being there. I'm cooking his mind. I grab the candy canes. I don't know how. I turn around. I'm I'm about to sprint out. The nigga at the door. The wedge is not on the door. And the nigga say, you look good in the dark. Y'all. No. No. Bro, my heart flashed before my fucking life. I swear to God on everything I love. Nigga said, you look good in the dark. Y'all, as I'm sliding, the door is closing. I put my fucking foot, my, my leg in the door. Boom. The fucking door hit my leg. I'm thinking my bone broke. He pushing my leg into the door. I'm screaming through the crack of the door. Yo! Yo! Help! I'm screaming help. My mom shows up. Apparently, every time that I worked, she would go chill in the fucking coffee shop next door. And she would never, ever leave me. She was only a phone call or a text away. My mom walk up to the door and say, what the fuck are you doing? And she pulls her knife and her mace out of the bag. She maces Santa. I get out the door. She stabbed this nigga. My mom is like, oh, shit. What I'm going to do? I said, give me the knife, give me the knife, give me the knife. It's, it's Vince. It's Vince. It's Vince and like, it's the, y'all know the foam ceiling that you could push up and slide it over? It's that inside the closet. I take, a, I take, I, and mind you, we wear gloves when we, when we the guy. When we the, uh, when we the helper, we wear gloves. And so do Santa. He wear his white gloves and I wear some like mitten type shits. I wipe the handle off of my mittens and I throw it in the vents. The, 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 the police come, and I'm like, he was trying to shove me in a closet. As I'm saying he trying to shove me in the closet, the nigga go back to his normal, his normal talk. Mind you, y'all, when he was doing all that aggressive shit trying to get me in the closet, he wasn't breathing heavy. None of that. He go back to, what's going on? What's, oh, man, what's going on? Is it time to, is it time to go back? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop playing with me, Fab. Beat you the fuck up. He's trolling the shit out of me, bro. L cap indeed, bro. So Pete. Meanwhile, he capping. Right? He capping. He playing dumb. I go up to the booth to get my money. My mom say, uh, she finna use the bathroom real quick. Am I okay? I'm like, yes, I'm okay. She give me her mace. She say, yo, all you got to text is any letter. If you text me, I'm running out that bathroom. I don't care what I'm doing. She like, I just got to run out the bathroom. She look a little shaken up. Anytime my mom, anytime any any of the females in my family do something, the females in my family crazy, they, they no, nah, never mind. They're not more crazy than the males. My Uncle Kevin and made that a thing. But um, anytime the females in my family do something, they like get a little shooken up, bro. They get a little shooken up. So she go to use the bathroom. She look a little shooken up after stabbing this nigga. He telling the cops they 
and my mom stabbed him. But the cops are not listening to nothing they're saying because apparently this is not the first time somebody uh, um, accused him of this. That's not, bro, what the fuck? This shit spilling? That's not the first time somebody accused him of, like, doing some shit like that. So the cops not listening to nothing he's saying, which is good for my mom because then they would have been looking for a weapon because it's stab wounds but no knife, so where's the knife? So that's not the first time he's been accused of something like that. The cops, the cops sit him right there. You get what I'm saying? Why they rehiring this nigga? I don't know. The cops sit him right there. I, y'all, the story over, but the last thing, he's sitting on that jaw, and I'm just looking at him as I'm trying to get my money because he, like, next to the booth, and he looked me in my eyes, and he say, and, and, bro, this is what he say, bro. This is what he said. He said, you think that these cops getting me right now is going to stop me from doing this? They can never stop me. This is my fourth time being locked up. All I do is act dumb every time. I called a cop back over. I'm like, bro. I'm like, bro. I called a cop back over. I tell the cop what he just said. And the cop, you know what the cops say? No, nah, there's something really wrong with him. That's why we're going to get him out of here. There's something wrong with him. He got like a disease or something. We're going to get him right out of here. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. I'm about to show y'all a picture of him, bro. I'm about to send it to my email. Hold up. Hold up. I'm looking in December. I f I found the picture of the white the white Santa. Let me find the one with the black Santa. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. This nigga just told me he gonna do whatever he need to do to whatever, whatever freak shit he said. And they even talking about, yeah, he got an illness. An illness? You bet. He trying to touch kids. You bet he do got an illness. This bro bro right here. Oh, there go the candy cane basket next to him, too. Bro, 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 sick in the head, bro. Mind you, you look scared. I am. Bro, peep his sneaks. He got racist fit, bro. He got the all black Nikes. This is only sneaks and the boot cut jeans. Under this, bro, when he leave from his Santa John, he dress, he dress weird. He, he act weird. He breathe heavy. That's what I'm saying. We see your jeans, bro. He not even wearing it right. He lying to the he lying to the kids and not even trying to be a good liar. The nigga's weird. Oh yeah, y'all see me in the twelves. <laughs> I got the skelly rolled up. Y'all know me. That's what I'm saying. Y'all see the jeans showing? The nigga's weird. They talking about holding you mad close. Y'all peep his hands. Peep his hands. Peep his hands. Peep his hands. His hands is on my ribs. This hand is on my... Bro, his hands on my ribs. The nigga sus. <laughs> 